Hi, and welcome back. Let's talk about duchening. Let's get blessed. Mitzvah, positive commandment, I should say. Number 58, it is a positive commandment that the Kohanim are to bless the Jewish people, as Scripture says. Thus shall you bless the children of Israel. May Hashem bless you. May Hashem make His face shine upon you. May Hashem lift up His countenance. You know the second. If a Kohen adds some other blessing, he transgresses the prohibition. You shall not add. If a Kohen did not go up before the Holy Ark to give a blessing, when the reader called out Kohanim, he would disobey the positive commandment and violate three religious charges. Thus, you shall bless, you shall say to them, so they shall put so shall they put my name. But any coin who gives the blessing will be blessed, the scripture says, and I will bless those who bless you. It is in effect everywhere in every time. Okay, let's talk about duchening. The Kohanim come up and they bless us. Pretty straightforward. A couple of comments, though. Some things to be aware of. Okay. So it says that the Kohen can't add anything. That's to specifically say exactly what um, the Bruchus Kohanim said. It's one of the reasons why we do it word by word. Right? Yivarech, Echa, and then everybody answers Yivarech, Echa. Hashem, and everybody answers Hashem. One of the reasons we do this is to be certain that exactly what is intended to be said is said. Uh, you may be aware you've seen verses printed in your Siddurim next to each of the words. So that's a Kabbalistic idea that you should be saying those words. Those words should be recited while the priest is saying that word, you recite the verse. This is a more of a Sephardic and Kabbalistic custom. If it's not your custom, I wouldn't start. Uh, some other things to be aware of. The Kohen has to go up when he's called Kohanim. The Kohen has to go up. If he doesn't go up, he violates the commandments to bless the Jewish people. Right? So the Kohanim have to come up at a certain point. That point is Ritze. We ask the Kohanim to come up for the blessing of Ritze, which is right before the blessing of Modim and Duchening. We ask the Kohanim to come up. They have to be up by then. Our halacha is that if they're not up by then, they have to leave the shul and they can't Duchen. Also, if a Kohen is in shul and he's not Duchen, he has to leave the shul so that when the call comes to Duchen, he won't be lax in going up to bless the people. Uh, the blessings are familiar with us, are, are familiar to us. A couple of other notes about Berchus Kohanim that are worthwhile. There are many different customs about not looking at the priests while they bless. Right? The Talmud says that you shouldn't look at the priests while they're blessing. Okay? Uh, that really isn't so much of a problem anymore because the custom, at least our custom is that the priests put a talus over their hands. The reason they put the talus over their hands is so you shouldn't see their hands while they're duchening. This was not always the practice, right? And it's not even universal as a practice. There are places where they put their hands up and they don't cover it with a talus. However, we've developed a custom to be certain that we're not looking at the Kohanim's hands while they're duchening. It's not their body. It's their hands that we're worried about. So that we're not looking at their hands while they're duchening. Um, so we have a custom, a lot of people have a custom, at least to look down so that they're not looking. I put a talus over my head. That's the custom my father had to put a talus over my head. Um, and, uh, these are appropriate customs. What is not appropriate, which some people did as a, I, I don't know, they thought this was a solution somehow, but it's really not. It's not appropriate to turn around and face away from the Kohanim. As a matter of fact, it's a mitzvah for the Kohen to bless the people face to face. Therefore, turning around, and you don't hear me say this often, is the wrong thing to do. I don't say that very often, right? If there's room, this custom, that custom, I'll tell you it's not the custom. Turning around during Duchening is for sure the wrong thing to do. Uh, Kohanim take off their shoes when they Duchen. Uh, as you're familiar, the customers take off their shoes, uh, just as there were no shoes worn in the temple. So to the Kohanim, take off their shoes. And uh, there are also uh, a couple of paragraphs about our dreams. Uh, I had a dream. I don't know what it was. Please help me. Customary to say. Not obligatory, but customary to say. And then there's a long blessing at the end. Um, there's a long recitation at the end where we ask God for all manner of blessing. 
even though we're being blessed, but we ask for all manner of blessing as well. Again, it's customary to say, but not essential. If you're going to say anything, say that last one. Okay, that's Birchus Kohanim. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time on our Kohanim. Let's see what's coming next. 59. More about Kohanim. It is the positive commandment that a coin is to defile himself for close kin, as opposed to anyone else. And uh, we'll talk about Kohanim and cemeteries and funerals next time. Have a good day.